All right, hello everyone. It's me, Adam, the baby gear guy in car seat tech for the pump station and nursery. And today I'm gonna to be building out the snus pod for the pump station store. And that's the pump station in Santa Monica in California for those of you out of state. All right, let's see what we got here. Now over the years, I have built out a bunch of Ikea stuff, a lot of baby furniture, cribs, bassinets, dressers, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. We got our mattress, everything you need to build your nursery. Not for children. the child can sit unaided, pull itself up, or push up on its hands and knees. The baby should be removed from the crib bassinet before the product is carried or moved. Failure to follow any of these warnings and instructions could result in serious injury or death. All right, so we're always going to use our handy dandy manual. to assemble is going to be the stand. side that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, six. No, it is seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
I'm going to do right in the middle, slot four. Turn. Go slowly with the Allen wrench because we definitely don't want it to turn too fast and end up scratching the side of the bassinet. And in the manual, it does say that the warning label should be facing outward. But we do know we're on the right track here. Tighten, tighten, tighten. We're going to take our time and go slow. We don't want to accidentally scratch our nice bassinet here. All right, so as you can see, the warning label is facing outward. We have just the single holes. We don't have the double hole sticking out. Okay. And we got to do this twice. Again, make sure the double hole is not sticking out. You want the single hole to be facing you. And by double hole, I mean this right here. You see how there's like a, a hole inside the hole? On this side, it's just a single. Here's the single side, and here's the double. We're going to do level four to match it up, of course. We want everything on the same level. Let's see. Number four. Right and 
advertising partner. Slowly, don't go too fast so that way the Allen wrench doesn't slip out. I hate to see in my younger days when I used to rush through some of the uh, high chairs out of symbol. I'd try and turn this really quickly and then they would end up doing a light scratch on the side. It's working. Ah, got it. Okay. All right. There is two, two matching sides here. markings on any of the boards, so it's, it's going to be kind of hard to tell without the manual so that we can compare them. Right, so we need Seven ends, so three, four, five, six, seven. We need the one that has the warning label, that's what they're telling us. Okay, so the three R's are going to be on the top here. And the reason why they wanted the double hole on the back is so that way the screw can fit right in there, which makes sense. Okay, so 
So the two top corners and the middle ones are all going to be the eye, the eye poles. Not mistaken with or confused with eye holes. Okay. There we are. Then we need our last two ends for the bottom. That's where these are going to go too. And it doesn't look like we need to be facing any certain direction, so we're just going to screw these in. So make sure when you're putting the bottom, the bottom K ones, you do not tighten up one side all the way. Because when you make it tighter, it kind of pulls it out of place and it's going to make it harder to screw in the second one. So you want to make sure you get both screws onto the K before you start to make it nice and secure. So that way you know all the holes are lined up. And then you don't have to retype it again. Yeah, normally at the pump station and nursery, we offer free assembly when you purchase a high chair and stroller. Yeah, if people are going to be purchasing this, we'll definitely advise them to do that because it doesn't look like this is going to be one of the easiest things to assemble. What do we need next? We need the so Z might be in here somewhere. No. mattress. This looks like the bumpers. And this actually looks like Y. That's the Y part. This is the X. And this flat piece right here is the Z. Okay. So the Z part is going to slide right into the K and the K's are the bottom ones, the two bottom ones. They are not the three top round ones. So we're going to slide them in. Oh, and it does look like it's Velcro. It looks like they want the Velcro facing up. Slide in one side. Oh, so one side slides in, the other side doesn't have to be Velcro. Do that. Velcro, Velcro. And Velcro. All right. 
have it. Uh, Z, the flat Velcro priest is on. We can move to step number seven. Okay. And that's when we're going to get our other side on there. So remember, we have to do two of these. And now they're going to go nicely together. All right, so we're going to need seven more of the ends. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're just going to screw this together. And remember, as you're lining up the screws with the pieces, do not tighten everything all the way until everything is attached or everything's lined up at least. Because remember, these bottom K ones, if you tighten it up right off the bat, it's not going to line up very well. So make sure you line them up while everything is still loose. seven sides lined up. So now I'm going to tighten the screws. It does not say anywhere on here to not tighten, not to tighten them all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, just two more to go. The last two screws on the last K. Next, we're going to step eight. Um, no, it just says it's all good. So this is a stand. It's complete. Now we got to put together the bassinet. That part is listed as part D, and there is two of them. They both say snooze pot, and I don't see any markings that say that they're piece. that they're piece, um, what are they called, piece C? Right. So we just need one of them. All right. Part L is going to look like part K, except if they've got these, um, they've got these four studs, two sticking out from each side. Those are going to get lined up at the bottom here. Should we do both? Okay, then we got J. That's going to be these right here. And we need four ends to screw these in. So these are going to screw on top. The L sits straight at the bottom on the two corners. And 
now we can go ahead and tighten them now that all of them are in place. Okay. Tighten and tighten. So once we got our four our four poles, the two um, the two cylinders, and then the two longer ones at the bottom, we're going to need our bassinet portion. And we're just going to line it up and slide these poles in. Okay, so the more circular ones are going to be on top. All the longer ones are going to be at the bottom and you just want to line up the pathway of the bassinet with the fabric. Make sure you don't slide it all the way in until you get all four corners on and then you can slowly slide them in together because it looks like the top part, we're going to have to slide it through multiple slots. Perfect. It looks like you've got them all the way in. Well, it looks like they want us to turn this on its side. they're not going to go in the fabric. They're going to go on the grooves down here. All right. So we're going to line up the small tab with the small groove and then of course the big groove with the big tab. There we go. Now we can go ahead and get on the second side. lined up. We got the bottom panels and the top panels lined up. So we're going to screw in our next four ends. up. 
it looks like we're almost done with the assembly part of the bassinet. And then in a separate video, I'll show you guys how to use it. But right now, it's just going to be the assembly and the review on the assembly to let you know how easy it was to put together. With anything I assemble, I highly recommend always going through the manual step by step to make sure you don't miss anything and have to go back and extend the time of assembly. This one you for sure really need to because, um, yeah, the stuff are not really labeled. And, um, yeah, you really need to pay attention to the pictures. All right, so next I need one M. See, there was a little M packet here. Get you open here. This is all trash. All right. So right inside here, there is going to be some purple or pink stitching, and there is a slit. That is where the end screw goes. So you're going to line up the M screw with the slit in the fabric. There's also a place to screw in the M. You're going to line it up there as well. And now we're going to tighten. And it looks like that's what's going to keep the bassinet pad down so it doesn't, um, if the baby or blankets are being changed or baby's moving around, it's not going to like lift up the fabric and pull it completely out of place or anything. So we're going to tighten it up. you to go through all four corners here and just snap them all on. Okay, we're going to snap and snap. Okay, and the buttons, the snaps are on the side of the bassinet that drops down. So if you actually zipper this down all the way, the snaps are going to be on these four corners. Oh, now there's snaps on the back end, so I'm going to go ahead and line these up. We're going to pop them in place. Do one and two. Oh, oh, they're on the front here. Okay. Okay, so the snaps are actually on the bottom four corners, and you can easily get to them. You don't have to, like, disassemble anything. They're pretty easy to line up and pop. All right, so now we've got two little poles here. 
These are listed as Q, but again, I don't see anywhere on the plastic or anywhere or anywhere on the bar that actually says Q. We're going to slide this through. There are uh, two pads on both of the longer sides of the bassinet. It looks like this is just going to slide right through. Oh, also be careful here too because the poles are not the same on both ends. One side of the pole is thicker while the other side is kind of a screw. So you need to look over here and you need to make sure that you're lining up the correct one with the correct size. doing it all wrong. So actually, on the ends here, there's actually a hole. So on this side, there's a hole on over here, and on the other one, there's a hole there. So the pole is actually going to go through the, the wooden part of the bassinet first, and then it's going to go through the fabric. going to push it all the way through. There's actually a screw in here and we're going to use our Allen wrench to tighten it up. Okay. I'll show you on this side because the hole for the next pole is right there. So it's just going to go through here. You're going to line it up with the bassinet fabric. You're going to push it all the way through. That's going to go into the hole on the other side, and that's where it screws into. Tighten, tighten, tighten. All right. And I mean, on this one, I've learned you don't want to tighten it too much because, yeah, you don't want to crack the, the wood or the frame or anything. All right. Now that both of our poles are in place, um, it looks like we're going to be grabbing this part here. We're going to put it in. And on the inside, as you can see here, there's like a zipper trail. It zippers in with the actual with the actual bassinet fabric. So we're gonna have to line up the zipper with where it starts. There we go. Yeah, there's a little tab in here that says comfort air. If you lift up that tab, you're gonna see where the zipper is supposed to start. Once you have the zipper lined up, we're just going to secure the bumper with the side of the bassinet. We're going to go all the way around until it's completely secured. Just like that. Now we can grab our mattress. We're going to set it down. Okay. Oh, well, and that's it. That's the assembly.
thing on the stand because we still have like two more pieces here. Oh, the reflux light. Okay, well, here's our stand. lines up and now you have a nice little rocking bassinet if you don't want it to rock there's a reflex stand that you can that you can attach to the bottom so we had a separate packet with two extra end screws so if you were going to use the reflex stand, that's when you're going to use these screws here. So this extra piece right here that was left over, you're going to take this out. It goes right underneath where the grooves are. You see that there's actually, that's why the grooves are here. So this is just going to line up with the groove. You're going to screw the last end pieces into place. And now, no rocking. And of course, I didn't screw it in all the way because I'm going to take it out again. Um, but yeah, make sure you screw it all the way completely in. And yeah, that's going to stop your um, your snus pod from rocking if you want them to be stationary. And of course, if you want to put it back into rocking mode, you're going to use your Allen wrench to disconnect the screws here. And then you can go back to rocking mode. Okay, actually, let me just screw this in completely. So we see how it works exactly. It's always good to not do things just halfway. There you go. So that allows it to um, to not rock or shake anymore. All right. Now there is one more piece here. It looks like this piece is going to go on if you're ever going to use it with the side down. Oh no, I remember. It actually warned me. Uh, see, I missed this spot. This piece is actually supposed to connect with the M. I made a mistake here. Yeah, it's funny, I watched that video and yeah. So this piece right here is actually supposed to go inside the bassinet part. The hole here is going to line up with that end screw. I completely forgot. Okay. So take the mattress and the bumper out. Okay. 
that. Missing a layer. everything back, everything else back on. And zip with this back up. pieces on it's not really zippering up. not the easiest thing in the world to assemble and even though the wooden pieces are labeled in the manual it's not labeled on the actual wooden pieces themselves so make sure that when you do if you do end up assembling this you need to be very careful when you are putting these pieces together because one of the reviews I read was um, what I was forwarded to me was that there's an engineer who got to put this together and it took them almost two hours. Um, yeah, so I can see how that's possible if you don't read the manual, because you put some of these on facing the wrong direction, the screws are obviously not going to line up, and then you got to kind of backtrack. So yeah, always use the manual. This is going to be your best friend. And um, aside from kind of deciphering, you know, what needs to be facing what direction, I mean, the pictures are clearer than some of the other ones I've had to assemble. Um, but yeah, just pay very close attention to the instruction manual and, um, yeah, make sure you're putting everything in the right spot, but keep an eye on the channel. Um, once we get this at our store and pump station, I will do a video on how to use this and how to make some of the adjustments because this is supposed to be like a bedside bassinet. So you can put it next to your bed. There are seven different height positions. So that way, you know, no matter what size your bed is or height your bed is. 
you can adjust it or assemble it accordingly. The first step I didn't do, actually that was in the manual, was to measure your bed to know what height position to put it at. Um, there are straps, these straps right here, that attach to the bassinet and go underneath the mattress, so that way the bassinet is attached to your bed. And it's pretty much, this is like a multi-purpose one. This, is, this could be a bedside bassinet. It can be a standalone stationary. It can be a standalone rocking. Uh, if you want to move a little one to the floor, you can easily move it off the stand. But remember, anytime you're moving, moving, moving this, make sure the child is not in here. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging in here with me. If you have any questions, you know, post them in the comments below. Um, if you want to be alerted to other videos, all aside from the car seat quickie tutorial videos on how to use specific products like car seats and strollers, um, I think I'll start doing some assembly videos like this one. Um, and yeah, this is my first one, so bear with me if it wasn't too clear. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.